I think so. Hey everyone, welcome to our April call. We're gonna get started right away here. Melissa, did you wanna do any recognition or should we move right to our promos? Well, I do, but I was watching the game too. So let's promo and then I'll do that at the end. Okay, deal. Okay, so um, Laura Whip, would you take us through the product of the month, please? Sure. Um, this is like so exciting that Citrus Twist is back. It is a total favorite of mine. And I don't even have a drop <laughs> from last year. I have none because I diffuse it all the time. And it, it it's called the Citrus Twist for a reason um, because it's citrusy, but there's a twist to it because then all of a sudden the spicy and, and a little bit of a sweet comes out too. Um, and so it's like a twist on citrus. Um, there's the, the high tones are the, are the uplifting are, is the citrus part of it. And then the grounding part is the ginger. So it's really, really cool. It's meant for diffusing. Um, it's not meant for topical use or, or internal use. And, um, it's really, really good for transitions. So the perfect time for this to come out is when we're transitioning from winter into spring, right? But put a one in the chat box right now if any of you leaders um, have had a transition of any variety in the last year. And if you want to share, you know, share share what that transition was if you'd like to. Um, so some people have, I know, have had a loss. Um, some people have transitioned into or out of caretaking um, for whatever reasons. Uh, you know, there's that transition for back to school in the fall or when you're transitioning into a vacation or a getaway or a time away from home and then transitioning back uh, to regular life after a trip or a vacation. So there's just lots of different transitions um, that I can think of that you, you might have gone through. So um, share if you like. But anyway, that is what Citrus Twist is particularly good for. It is um, specially formulated for diffusing. So when you smell it out of the bottle, it smells different than when you diffuse it, which I think is really, really unique. Um, so when you first smell it out of the bottle, it, you smell the spicy side of it. But when you diffuse it, um, you smell the citrusy side of it a little bit more. Um, that kind of comes the, the orange, the wild orange comes to the forefront. So um, there's also, you know, along with wild orange and ginger, I talked about those already. Um, there's also lemongrass and litzy, litzia in there. And also a ginger extract, which I don't know much about. That's kind of interesting to me. Um, so let me, let, let's talk a little bit about the lemongrass and the litzia part. Um, lemongrass is named for lemon because it has the lemony aroma, but it's not a citrus oil at all. Okay. It comes from the leaves and stems of a grassy type of plant. Um, and then litzia smells like lemons too, but it's not citrus either. It actually comes from like an evergreen shrub. So um, we know what ginger is a root plant and that's what brings the grounding notes to this blend. And then this ginger extract um, brings just a little different quality um, than the ginger essential oil brings. Um, so I don't know what the constituents exactly are of that, but the best way to use it is to diffuse it. And boy, oh boy, you should put 125, your customers, every customer, should put 125 in their cart to get this because you can't buy it. So I don't even know what the wholesale value is um, of Citrus Twist, but I love, love, love it. And I can't wait to get mine. Thank you, Laura Whip. Um, Jerry, would you cover Tries for us at 10% off? Sure will. So Tries is something that I haven't really used much because Fortunately, I don't have problems with allergies, but you know, you can use it for respiratory things too. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I think all of us know about dry yeast because it's got the lemon, lavender, and peppermint in it. And we know peppermint is for respiratory and we know lavender is has antihistamine properties. 
but as well as calming. And then we know lemon is cleansing, right? And so the synergy of these three together is an amazing respiratory support. So uh, you can take one or two a day. Um, and it's also safe for pets, which I didn't know. Um, so that, that was interesting to read about that. So it's normally 28 wholesale, 10% off brings it to 25, 20 wholesale. And um, when I was kind of researching and looking around in the different Facebook groups, um, I came across one It was in the medical health professionals, whatever group. And someone was saying, well, um, you know, she's talking about her sleep and she wakes up every night, like between two and three in the morning. And then somebody else piped in about, oh, well, you know, the meridian for your your respiratory is at like two o'clock during the nighttime and for your your liver, it's at three. So um, this person decided to try the tries and she said, wow, it's really helped me through. So that's an interesting thing. I'm going to have to put some in my cart this month and order it because I don't have any because it's expired. <laughs> so, so I'm going to just try that and see because um, that sometimes happens to me. And um, being that, you know, breathing at night, sometimes you get through a period where you get congested. And um, so I thought that was really interesting. So that is try ease. That's about all I have on it unless somebody else has something interesting that they have found or a testimony. So in, in a pinch, you could um, put a hole in one and squeeze it out on your hand and put it on the bottoms of your feet. If it was for like a child or something. Would you use then just because there's five drops in there is what, what it says, Melissa. So would you use just a little... Um, well, unless it, unless it was, I mean, if it was like two or over, I would use it on the bottoms of the feet, all of it. Yeah. 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 Good to know. Thank you. Susan, thank you for your testimony too. Jerry, thank you for that. Yeah. I just think I don't struggle with allergies either, but this is like such a big deal for people. I have a project broadcast template that went out last year around this time that was really well received, but like to say to somebody like $25 natural solution for your allergies, like start it. I feel like with the allergy stuff, it's good to start it preemptively, like get going on it, like start taking it can't hurt. Maybe you'll get a side benefit and you'll sleep better. Um, and see, you know what it can do for you. You certainly won't be drowsy. Right. So many of those, um, over the counter products for seasonal allergies do make you drowsy or they make your scalp tingly and make you have a little, like a kind of almost a buzz. If, if not the drowsy, you get the opposite effect. And so there's a lot of side effects to a lot of those medications. And I'm not, I don't have seasonal allergies either, but a couple of our kids do, our adult children, and they swear by tri -Ease. It really, really does help them. So. Um, Laura Whip, would you help us with the new Mito 2 Max? Yeah, here's something else that really, this brought back so many memories. I was taking the Mito 2 Max really regularly when we were doing TerraFit. Um, so Amy and Melissa and some other friends and I were doing uh, TerraFit, which was Elise Shedevy, the DVDs, um, Fitness in the Morning. And just for that energy boost at 6 a.m. when we were doing that, I was really regular with the Mito 2 Max back then. And there's been a couple of times, seasons, since where I really needed some energy. And that Mito 2 Max was awesome. So when I heard that it was going to be reformulated and rebranded as part of the um, MetaPower, um, I got really excited again about Mito 2 Max and, and want to try it. Um, you guys, you, Amy, you and Melissa heard about it during leadership, I know. Um, and I, I know a little bit about it. And it's got, they took out the ashwagandha and they put in PQQ and Iriodictyon Californicum. How's that? Did I do okay with that? <laughs> Um, to provide immediate energy and sustained energy, but there's absolutely no caffeine and nothing in it that is synthetic. So I know you can get a lot of beverages on the market today that are energy beverages. Even at your local coffee shop, you can get the Lotus beverages and stuff. And they all say that they're plant-based, but you know, coffee is a plant too, wink, wink. So there is absolutely no caffeine in this um, and nothing synthetic. 
Um, so they're transitioning. I think this is the week. It's either last week or this week that they're transitioning from the old Mito2 Max to the new. And um, if you have it in your cart, they're going to replace the old with the new if you have it in your um, template already. And so the old was $42 wholesale, but the new is $44 wholesale. And really, I can't wait to try it. I want to see um, how it works and what it does for um, energy level. And who doesn't need a boost of energy every now and then? Mm -hmm. um, thanks, Laura Whip. One of the things I thought that was interesting that they shared, and it actually wasn't even a, in specific regards to Mito2 Max, but that if you're using caffeine as a way to like help your energy throughout the day, that caffeine really affects, there's like a hormone, there's something that builds all day long in our bodies from when we wake up that helps us fall asleep when it's time. And having caffeine really affects the ability for that to build so that you fall asleep well. So I think it's really intriguing to think of like, you know, using a natural way to have that energy and stamina throughout the day that won't be using caffeine and affecting that. Um, so, and I really like this can be part of the meta power line. I don't know. I feel like, but I like that a lot. So thank you, Laura Whip. I appreciate that. Okay. Sonia's going to tell us about um, the sample trifolds or sample sachets or whatever they might be. Here she goes. Okay. Did you get my email? <laughs> She's got the graphics, I think, maybe. <laughs> Uh, um, in the meantime, Laura, when you were doing Terrific, did you take um, the Mito 2 Max first thing in the morning then, or what time of day? Yeah, I took it I took it before I went, um, but I ate a little nibble of something because I didn't want to take it on an empty stomach, but it really, really worked. I mean, I noticed a difference in my energy level with the Mito 2 Max, um, so I'm looking forward to trying it again. But yeah, I took it before before exercising. Um, but I did always eat a little something like half a banana. Perfect. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, hold on a second. Oh, I can't get my notes up at the same time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so a um, couple of things here. So there's these sample trifolds, also known as sachets or sachets or however you say that. Um, anyways, so there's the MetaPower Recharge. So these are kind of fun, I guess, for like samples or if somebody wants to try them. The MetaPower Recharge um, comes in a nice little trifold like this and it has a sample of both the strawberry, the wild strawberry and the lemon lime flavor. flavor. And so these are available for purchase for $8 each in your back office now. I guess they used to be on Marketplace, but they're now available in your back office. Um, the Smeta Power Advantage, um, we're not sure what's going on with this because I found this on OneDrop, this picture here, but I feel like this might be false advertising. So this actually shows that it's a trifold with three samples of the lemon orange flavor. Um, but Amy, can you pull up the other attachment I sent you? I couldn't actually find that in our back office. So I believe how it's being marketed or sold is, da, 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 da. <laughs> it's still loading, hold on. Oh boy. Which feels weird to me that it's still loading. It's trying to pull it up in pages. You have an apple, don't you? Yeah, I don't know. It's just balancing. Okay. Right, because okay. it's showing it without. So it's showing as a 10 pack of empty trifolds that you can purchase. And so it includes like instructions to how to attach a sachet, a sachet um, close it up and mail it. And then it has useful instructions on the advantage, like the directions and the benefits and stuff. And so they're a 10 pack for $9. And those are available in our back office at the moment. I put together this really beautiful graphic for Amy that she's not able to pull out. <laughs> it's, coming. it's coming. Here it is. You're so proud of me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So fantastic. Okay, go to the next page. Okay. Okay. So 
yeah, it's super exciting. <laughs> so that's where I like it. Oh my gosh, this first picture. So that's what they look like in the back office. They didn't have any other pictures of it, so it's not really that exciting. Um, it's just an empty tin pack that you would purchase them and fill them yourself. So you could put somewhere between one and three of them in there, I suppose. Um, and then go up to that other page. Okay, and then there's also little sample packs of PB Assist. So you get a three pack of the PB Assist in here with the trifold for 495 and the Serenity Soft Gels. You can get three little sachets for with two soft gels each for 495. Um, and they all have kind of directions and usage instructions and that kind of thing. And so those are all available in your back office. On your graphic was amazing. Thank you. I feel like it would be interesting. Like you wouldn't, it wouldn't make a ton of sense to drop ship one of those samples to somebody like you could because you're going to pay the shipping. It's fine. Um, it probably yeah, that's true. Get them and be like, it's more economical. But I wonder what it would be like to drop ship some of them, like a variety. Maybe it's just the Serenity to a sharer and say, you've got thirty days. Can you get these out? You know, can you can you get them all out and get some feedback? Um, give them the verbiage to use or something but um, that's an interesting way I do like it when they do that for us I think it's worth you know being able to give somebody a nice looking so when you say drop ship are you saying like if you ordered them in your back office like a single one I imagine we'd still have to pay shipping on that huh right so I don't like that as much but if I got like a bunch of serenity or a bunch of pb assist juniors and sent them to an engaged customer right and said share them out um, Sonia, my question for you is, do you have the impression that those are foldable and then able to put the postage on, or do you have to have the envelope? Like I was wondering, it sounds like they're mailable as is according okay. to that. Okay. So I don't know, I'd be curious to know what that would cost. I mean, it's probably still a couple of bucks I would imagine. Yeah. Nothing's cheap about shipping anymore. Right. So, yeah, I don't know. Well, thanks son. Yeah, I, I learned I learned things about that. See, yeah, um, I had no clue that it was available. Melissa, can you tell us about the rebrand of fiber and the power pack, which I thought was fake? So I asked her to make sure it's legitimate. So we've had a whole okay. day of like, is this real? Right. So two different topics. The first one is they are rebranding the nutrition line and the fiber. Um, so I they they left that very vague. I don't know what that means. I would guess that if I was going to be king for the day and I was going to rebrand the powders that I would make those protein powders 30 days. I think that's like been a rub from the beginning is that it's like 26 days or 28 days. And people, I talked to somebody today that said, I just won't order the protein on the, I'm just offended that it's not a whole month. So that's why she doesn't order it. So uh, it has nothing to do with if she likes the product or not. But apparently that's like, if you, if that's important to you, that's like of paramount importance. Um, so I don't know what that's going to look like, but I do know that by the end of May, we should be able to have access to the new fiber. Um, so I just, or the new rebrand of fiber. So I just wanted to tell you, that's all I know on that topic. Um, then they, they, you know, some of you may have seen the new power drink, right? The power punch that people are advertising. It's a sleeve of Advantage, a sleeve of the PB Assist Plus, and it's a sleeve of the Recharge, all in 16 ounces world together. Um, I'm just going to tell you, so doTERRA's response to people doing that has been to offer to sell a power pack. So it is those items sold together at a $32.50 savings. So um, that would be, it would cost you $150 to buy the Recharge, the Advantage, and the PB Assist, PB Assist Plus, um, and it would be 125 PV. Now, not everybody wants to buy it that way. So it still might be more economical for you to buy it, um, to um, do it as an add-on with your LLV, because when you do the PB Assist Plus in, as an add-on with your LLV, you also get the restore bottle of 
capsules. So I won't be without those, right? So I'm not sure the power pack, maybe that's good for me if I'm going to be using sampling, right? And doing something like for shares, like Amy and Sonia just introduced. Um, I think there's application for all of these things. And I'm just going to go back and say, I know people just see me coming and they roll their eyes. I think Amy's kind of rolling her eyes at me on this. But if you are consuming your advantage, the product is made to consume that collagen. We should it, quiz them and see if they know the right answer. How long are you are, are, How long are you supposed to let your advantage sit before you consume it? Cheers. Jerry? Right away. Yeah, like right away. You're supposed to take it right? Yeah, you, you, you do it right away. Ding, ding, ding. You've got 60 seconds. Ready, set, go. Better be gone. Yeah. So it's got to be. Yeah, so you you drink it like a shot. That was the way it was first introduced to us at the different events that I've been at. And so this power punch has people making it and drinking it over a period of time because most people, except for my daughter, Amy Baumitz, um, drink things a little more slowly. She can take 16 ounces and it is gone in 30 seconds. I can make 16 ounces last all bloody day. So the point is, if you are going to put your advantage in there, either make five ounces and drink it first and or drink it all at once or drink down the 16 ounces to five ounces and then put it in and mix it up and drink it. Okay, guys, just... Be aware, if you want to maximize the advantage of collagen, you need to drink it right away. All right? Otherwise, it, just, it gets it gets like gelatinous almost. It, it gets, yeah, you just got to drink it right away. Well, and the point is to shock, kind of shock your system into, hello, it's here. Um, whereas the others are more like leisurely. So there you have it, so guys. So with that power pack, is it just the one flavor of collagen available? Yeah, uh, yeah, or the one flavor of collagen, the the lemon lime, and it also we I had really hoped if they were going to do this, we got whispers of this, and I was hoping they were going to do like half wild strawberry, half of the um, lemon lime in the um, recharge, right? But it for right now, it's the straight pack of the originals in the oh, actually in this graphic, it looks like wild strawberry. I guess you get to pick. It says choose lemon lime or wild strawberry of the recharge. But I really would like to, if they gave me one, like tampons with different sizes. <laughs> Where they had different it. colors. <laughs> Comment. Comment card. They'd like to fill it in. I do have to say though, like, you know, we've spent, but if, um, we like to be about proper education for our customers. So this is one of those things where like the pack has strayed, which we've all done. Like we've all done, we've all been like cons consumed a doTERRA product like the wrong way or whatever. So it's good to make sure we're all on the same page for even for our customers benefit of like, okay, we should drink that right away. So we're, we're staying the course, Melissa, stay in the Thank course. Thank you for, for defending me. Um, yeah, because I just feel like people are paying a lot for these products and I want them to know how to use them agree with that um okay so a couple things that i wanted to touch on quickly um I'd like some some of us have been doing some in-person classes um we're not necessarily going to talk ad nauseum about that right now but um it's interesting to see like that in person you know kind of mix back in and seeing new ways to do it or different and how it feels so um i don't know it's interesting is what I would have to say. Melissa's enrolling people like crazy. So do whatever Melissa's doing is what I would like to say. Um, I also wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you for the collaboration for our Level Up Your Life or continuing education classes um, for the month of April. Just so you know kind of what's coming up, there are four Saturdays in April. Um, so we do like Green Up Your Home um, and Self Care with Lindsay. We have nobody for pain, but it's okay. Somebody can fill it in on the 13th. Um, we'll figure it out. But pain is that um, Saturday. Then it's oil layering with Miranda and then freshening up your skincare routine with Jerry because we all want to look as good as Jerry. <laughs> can we be honest? Okay, good. Um, so be watching for those. Um, and we're grateful that that education is being poured out on our customers. So thank you for your teamwork in that. Empowered success. I haven't seen the email yet, so I can't tell you what's happening yet on that call, but I'm sure it might have been tonight, I suppose, but I feel like it was a tonight. So watch for the recording. It's now. Go to Justin's webinars and see what it was all about, okay? Our monthly call is April 15th, and it's Oils for Productivity. 
get after it girl because we're all females pretty much on those calls so we just went for it get after it girl hope nobody's offended um i made a sign up sheet and if you guys could consider a sharing slot that would be great just ideas are on there if you want to adapt it do it do it i'm not offended um and i'll put the link to register as well um so that is coming up um, Miranda is going to share with us in just a minute. And before I go there, I don't actually have that much. So, oh, Melissa, I'm Melissa. I have uh, recognition. Okay. I'm finally ready. Um, I, we had five enrollments last month. And so LEP and Laura Shields and myself each had one and Stephanie Werner, who is a new enrollment over in Michigan had two and is has plans in the work for more enrollments. So um, she wanted to come on the call tonight, meet you all, but they're an hour later and she's got three kids under three and she's in bed. So she might catch this recording. So hi, yeah. Stephanie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so this is the month that I go, my mom and I fly to Utah and then I'm whisked away in an Uber with a stranger up to Emily Wright's ranch. And there was like a specific, we had a call and they were like, there will be no uninvited guests. And I was like, you're out, mom, you're out. Okay. They knew, um, I guess there's three houses on the property that we will be with. I might even have a bed mate. Um, I might room. It's like 50 of us in these houses. I get a room assignment when I get there. Um, there's cattle that roam all over. I'm supposed to be careful of the cattle, but I feel like the cattle should be careful with me. So I'm not sure what to do about that either. Um, so let's see, it's basically Wednesday night. So they're like feeding us very nicely. They said, we don't have to bring supplements because Emily is providing all the supplements we need, but we can't take them home. <laughs> and I was like, fair, that's fair. But that actually will help us all pack light. I suppose you think about all the supplements we would bring. We'd be like this for a couple of days. Um, we're going to get to do some hiking. We're having an evening picnic. There's a neon part dance party, which makes me just want to poke my eyeballs out but I'm gonna pack I have one pink dress I'm gonna put it in there and I'm just gonna pretend um so that's kind of what I know there's a lot of like masterminding and discussion I signed up for a time with account manager like they will be there in person um can do some strategizing and really what I feel like I keep coming back to is I I just feel like a representative like I hear, I feel like I should put all your faces on a t-shirt and just wear that the whole time. Um, because I just think it's important to have a little bit of access into what's going on. And I think that's what this will provide our team. Um, so this is way out of my comfort zone. I would be lying if I told you I was looking forward to it, but I'm glad that I'm going and I think it's important to go. Um, and I'm just very curious to see what it's like. So um, we'll know so more. When we fly into the airport in St. George. I've got like a, a little string I'm tying around her ankle and she's going to get on the Uber and she's going to go so I can like pull her back, like out of the temple in the Bible and get her, get her back. <laughs> well, I just like want to take off. So Laura Shields taught me the best trick. Cause I was like, I want to take photos of everything. And I guess when she was in Israel on her trip, there's like parts where you can't take photos. So she was like, Shh. And like hundreds of photos. So, right. I know, I know. So I'm going to be like, oh, what a beautiful. <laughs> so um, I'm going to, oh, it thinks I'm making an emergency call. But anyway, um, I'll try and bring back some dirt on the situation. Thanks to Laura Shields, my <laughs> handy. <laughs> She's amazing. Um, okay. That's all I have to say about that. Miranda, talk to us. Can't wait. Can't wait to hear. Okay. This is super quick tonight. Um, I say that, but really it's going to be because that was a long weekend. I just want you to take this, this quote in that I heard and read, and I don't know from where, so we're just going to repeat it. I forgot. But when we believe anything is possible, we understand everything is possible. And my question to you tonight and for you tonight, and actually for me, but I wanted to, I like sharing what really is speaking to me is um, when did we stop believing or when did you stop believing that anything is possible? And I'm not gonna go into the whole like when we're children, we dream blah, 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 because I don't know all the child like childhoods we've had. And I don't know, I know we all start out, you know, if it's basically safe in childhood, we basically all start out dreaming about X, Y, Z, but when did we stop believing that everything was or anything was possible? 
And I want you to really take that in if possible, internalize it or journal it or write it out. But when we believe anything is possible, we understand everything is possible. How does this relate to business? Um, well, faith, hope, and love, right? Super important components. And I'm not saying hope is a business plan or a business strategy. I'm not saying that hope is a great uh, for other things, but for like business and everything, that's action. That's faith. That's taking chances. That's stepping out of the comfort zone. Thank you, Amy. Because like, if I could fit in the pocket, I would, or the suitcase, I would, or put a camera on her, but I won't. But thank you, Amy, for doing that for real. I honor your stepping outside the comfort zone. Plus the brain heals when we do that. And our nervous system regulates when we do stuff like that. So I think it's great. But one more time, when we believe anything is possible, we understand everything is possible. And my question is, when did you, or have you, which most of us have, sorry, but when did you stop believing anything is possible? What would it be like, how would you dream or what would you do or what action steps would you take if you thought anything was possible? And one thing coming to mind right now that I can't get away from is uh, about expectations, like briefly. I don't know if, if this just relates to me in the book I'm reading about healing intergenerational trauma, but I want to just mention that I think some people, I think that sometimes in our life, we need to manage our expectations better. Um, how do I, what do I mean by that? Since I'm just pulling this out of thin air, manage expectations, meaning is there something you need to like let go of expectation wise of, I thought business would look like this. And I thought this would happen team. And I thought this, and I thought this, and if you need to, and I think I'm going to this week, I'm going to journal this, but I have to put it in, it came from the book, but I'm making it into my own with business, not so much personal. I'm going to do both, but business, do you need to write a letter of disappointment or to yourself or to whoever else? And in this might not relate to you, but somebody this might land for of like, I thought this was going to go this way. I thought this was going to go this way. But actually it went this way. It tanked totally. Or I lost a whole leg, which has happened to me a whole entire leg dissolved. There might be a few saving, you know, whatever, but I'm going to, I need to write a letter because I feel like there wasn't really closure from that. Is there something in your life you need closure from, or how are these expectations for your business? Like on a scale of one to 10, like we got to, the expectations are kind of killers. I think of hope and killers of whatever. I feel like letting go and holding things where we're a constant river and a constant flow and a constant right in that state and not saying like there's no guilt shame or condemnation here but managing expectations i think will be something to take home so when did you stop believing anything was possible what would how would you dream how would you act how would you respond how would you manage yourself when no one's looking if you thought anything is possible and secondly do you need to write a letter to someone or something or business or whatever yourself saying dude this sucked and dude this is how i'm going to go from here and so that's what I have for you tonight. And I hope that was good to chew on. Thanks, Mar. We always like something to chew on. We appreciate it. Okay, everyone. That's what I know. Um, again, thank you for what we do collectively. We're grateful for all of you. It is a team effort. Um, and we'll see you hopefully on the 15th and then in May. I don't know when the call will be in May, but I'll tell you when I know. Okay. We'll be home. everybody. We'll be I home home home. One. Oh my what? gosh. What'd you say? We'll be we'll be just home by that call. That's not true. Yeah. We'll, oh, we're the doing 15th. the 10th to the 13th. We'll be fine. I always pick BOGO weeks and traveling days. It's how it works. <laughs> All right. You're brave. Bye, everyone. See y'all. <laughs>